what a mess. But no worries guys, today we are going to review vacuum robots to help you with the mess. We are going to run a few experiments and tests where you'll be able to see the vacuum, the suction, the mopping and all other functions of these robots that will help you with your household chores. We at the Homey Guys understand that there are a lot of brands of vacuum robots in the market. So we invested into two of them in the Malaysia market, which is about the same price range, where we'll put them through a series of experiments and tests for you to make a better informed decisions about your choice based on your own individual requirements. We have chosen Ecovax and Roborock as one of the strongest competitors in the market, which both of them have got strong R&D capabilities in developing robots which not only clean well but also very functionable. Overall, we have found the AI capabilities of the Ecovax is of great value. Nevertheless, Roborock is also a part of the Mi family, which is widely used in China as well as Southeast Asia. They are very quickly gaining traction to be one of the bigger players in the market. The Tina uses an aerospace grade DTOF radar device, which is one of the biggest upgrades to the vacuum robot technology. The Tina is equipped with the latest 3D detection technology, codenamed True Detect 3D version 2.0. It uses True Mapping 2.0 technology to quickly scan complex home environments through its 3D information probing, which will then present the home layout and generate a three-dimensional home map, which is still quite amazing for the first in the industry. The T9 has a black screen on the front, which is not a display screen, but it is a built-in camera with 3D structured light sensor. According to the website of Ecovax T9, this laser sensor built on both sides of the body is able to scan in 3D in real time while the machine is working. With the True Detect 3D 2.0, it is even smarter than its predecessor. So whether it's a shoe or a sock or even wire, it will be accurately calculating the difference in distance, thus achieving the zero collision target. The Roborock S7 uses the LDS LiDAR for navigation and mapping. The LDS technology on top of the body intelligently scans the room to create a map. Unlike its camera robots, the LDS LiDAR technology scans the entire room in one go. Once the map has been created, the robot then automatically subdivides the room into different zones. You can then schedule the S7 to clean different zones of your room at designated time slot using your mobile apps later.
few moments later. As we can see from the test footage, the Ecovacs T9 is much better at obstacle avoidance than the Roborock S7. This is due to the Ecovacs technology of the True Detect 3D version 2.0, which greatly reduces the chance of the robot colliding and getting stuck in debris. The T9 can avoid bigger items. However, when items are smaller, it will not be able to avoid and going head on. While it is clear, that the T9 is better in avoiding the items on the floor as compared to the S7, we still would like to advise that to avoid items being swallowed up, it's still better and recommended that you remove the smaller items on the floor, such as your socks, your USB cables, the children's toys, and also other items that could be lying on your floor. The double brush designs of the Ecovacs T9 allows the robot to perform each of the cleaning routine better. However, it also increases the risk of items such as the USB cables being stuck in the side brush. The roller that's being used by the T9 is a classic bristle brush, which can effectively clean and clear dust accumulation in the corners and gap between tiles. The cleaning process of removing hair from the roller of the T9 requires the use of a pen knife which is thoughtfully provided also by Ecovax. The Roborock S7's main brush is made of soft rubber, which not only enhances its closeness to the ground and rolls in, but it also prevents hair from getting tangled up in clumps. Two sets of twin arm independent suspension systems have been added to the Roborock S7, and the new floating structural components have a much improved and more flexible floating range. The Roborock S7 has a very thoughtful detail on the roller brush. The detachable side of design allows the user to easily remove the hair from the roller brush, which is very convenient for users with pets at home. Well done to Roborock for this convenience. From the test, we can see that the Roborock S7 with its floating brush technology cleans slightly better as compared to the Ecovacs T9. Although with its dual brush, sometimes items are being pushed aside to the corners. Nevertheless, both robots fare equally well under our extreme testing conditions. The Ecovacs T9 is equipped with the Osmo 2.0 wiping module, which provides a high frequency wiping effect at 480 repetitions per minute. This is to mimic the repeated wiping by hand. 
The high frequency wiping speed is combined with the manufacturer's ultra micro fiber disposable no clean wipes to thoroughly clean your floor, giving you an almost perfect sterilization effect. In addition to the wiping module, it also comes with the air freshener module, which adds a new dimension to the functionality of the entire robot. The S7 is equipped with a new sonic vibrating floor scrubbing system. According to the website, their factory claims that the robot's high frequency vibration from 1006 to about 3000 vibrations per minute is designed to help disintegrate surface dirt and also able to break down the toughest dry stains, leaving your floors cleaner than ever. The T9 comes with a water tank which has a capacity of 180ml and can mop of an area about 120 to 130 square feet with one filling. It also uses a disposable wet mopping cloth which not only has a strong function of removing stubborn stains but able to clean well. For the S7, the freestanding water tank and the repeatedly washable wipes makes the wiping module easier to handle and we can also pre vet the wipes before installing them to the robot to make cleaning more effective. Vacuum robots come in handy in the kitchen cleanup too. Stains such as coffee, spices and sauces can be hard to clean sometimes. We intentionally left some of these kitchen stains for about 2 hours to have some dry stains where we intend to show you how these robots fare under these extreme mopping conditions. Surprisingly, with normal mopping and water level settings of both these robots, they fare reasonably well. After their first runs, they manage to remove some of the dry stains, but the stubborn ones remain. Overall, based on our experience, under a normal family use of the kitchen, both robots would help you get the cleaning job done. In general, you might need to run your robot several rounds to have a much cleaner environment. After our reviews and experiments of both of these products, we can come to a conclusion that vacuum robots definitely can add value to your cleaning needs at home. Accidents and mess can happen anytime. With the use of technology, it can save you time and brings you convenience. Time to get one!